Feel the thunder of live horse racing action Wednesdays through Saturdays at America's favorite nighttime track. Enjoy the excitement of over 1,600 of the hottest slots and roomy texas size aisles. Exciting promotions, live entertainment, fine dining, and a luxurious hotel. This is Delta Downs, and this is the Delta Experience. Hello once again, everybody, and welcome back to the Delta Experience. I'm your host, Don Stevens. I'm also the track announcer here at Delta Downs Racetrack Casino and Hotel. And on this show, we tell you all about Delta Downs Racetrack Casino and Hotel, a wonderful Boyd Gaming property here in Vinton, Louisiana. If you want to know how to get here, just take I-10 West from Lake Charles to Exit 7. Go north and follow the signs. And if you're coming from Texas, just drive east on I-10, take Exit 4, go north and follow the signs, and you'll be here in no time having a wonderful time at Delta Downs. Well, on this show, we talk about racing, we talk about food, we talk about entertainment, we talk about promotions. But to start the show off this week, we're going to talk about food. We're going to visit Chef Joseph in our Vista restaurant. He's going to cook us up something very delicious to eat, and you're going to learn how to make it yourself. Here now is Chef Joseph and his crew. Hello, I'm Joseph Yuskevich, Executive Chef for Delta Downs, and today we're at the Vista. Today we're going to be doing the apple crostata that is one of the most requested desserts here at the restaurant. It's going to be better than Aunt B's apple pie. Isn't that right, Nate? That's right. <laughs> All right. Nate's going to start out making the filling for the apple pie. All right, the filling. So let, right. tell me what you're starting with today, Nate. we got um, eight cups of Granny Smith apples. Go ahead, and put it in your bowl. Let's start sugar. mixing that up. Let's mix that up. Right. There you go. Fresh Granny Smith Don't apples. Up. We'll miss one. Got three-fourths cup of sugar. Okay, white sugar in this one? Yes, sir. Okay, do you have both sugars or just one sugar? Yeah, both sugar. We got one okay, fourth cup have... of uh, brown sugar. Okay. Got one fourth cup of flour. All right. Got two tablespoons of butter. Now, is the flour going to help help bind it together so it doesn't yes, get sir. too loose? Kind of like a like an apple pie, I guess, huh? Yes, sir. One All cup right. of one fourth teaspoon of nutmeg and a little bit teaspoon of, nutmeg. of cinnamon. Okay, beautiful. We just okay. want to mix that around real good. What Nate's doing is mixing everything together so it makes up a nice coating onto it with the sugars and the flour. Then what will happen is we'll get a nice little saute on it to where the apples are just tender. You still want a crisp, tart apple where it has a little snap to it when you're eating your crostata. So while he's doing that, we're going to come back to him in a minute and we're going to have Chef David. He's going to start to make the streusel topping and the puff pastry for the dish. Okay. All right, Chef, what you got going? Uh, we'll start out with rolling out the puff pastry. Make sure butter and flour uh, rolled out nice and thin. We'll take a little bit of the flour, okay. coat it just slightly on the outside and also down here at the bottom just so it doesn't stick. It's always best to use like we have here on a clean table. Stainless works best if you have a wooden cutting board at home. Works great as well. French rolling pin, you just want to start from the center and work your way to the end. Again, center, work your way to the end, just gently. Okay, now with puff pastry, what's the what's the best technique on doing the puff pastry? Should it be a little bit thawed or a little bit frozen? Room temperature is always the best. Uh, okay. if, if it does come in, if you, you, you can buy it at the store, it does come in frozen, just All suggest right. leaving it out on your counter for a few minutes. I let it come up to room temperature. All right. From here, we want to use a template. About, but, what are we doing, about, about an eighth inch thick on it? Yes, Chef. Okay. Lay it down on the dough. Just use your knife, be careful. We're going to do two of them just like this. So one. Beautiful. And if you do this at home, any type of bowl or, or round instrument that will let you get a nice perfect circle because you're going to have to fold the edges in to keep all the juices inside of this dish. Okay. And, uh, that's the most important part of, of keeping it all together. Okay, so okay. Now, now we have our, our base for our apple crostata. From there, we're gonna move on to our topping, which is a streusel topping. The ingredients for that is two cups of flour. And that should be all-purpose flour all -purpose for that. Flour. All right. One cup of butter. Room temperature onto the butter. Okay. One cup of sugar. Okay, move closer. Teaspoon of cinnamon and a teaspoon of salt. When to combine these ingredients together, you want to cut the butter into the flour. 
about uh, gets to about to be a pea size. All right, beautiful. Okay. okay, let's get back over here to Nate for a minute, and we're going to see how he's coming on his apple filling. <laughs> so once you get everything together, you get a nice little caramelization on it, nice brown color, a little bit of liquid, not too much on that one, correct, Chef? Correct. Yeah. All right. Chef David, he's about ready with his streusel topping, so we can start to put these together. Okay. What do you like eating with this best? Ice cream. Well, ice cream. <laughs> and where else but Vista do you get house-made ice cream? Here at Vista, we have house-made ice cream every night. We do our vanilla bean, and we also do a special ice cream of the night. So you always have that option to have with your crostata. Okay, Chef David, are we ready to go ahead and build one of these? Yes, yeah, Chef. So the last ingredients to our, to our streusel, we want to add pecans and give it a nice toss. Okay. And that will be our topping. First step would be to add a fourth of a cup to right into the center of the pastry dome in each one. There you go. Beautiful, thanks Chef. To that we want to add say about another fourth of a cup of the streusel directly on top. Okay. The streusel topping will give it a nice crunchy like a French apple pie topping. that will give that sweetness, the nice toast of pecans from down here in the south. Okay. We're all set to go. Next step, Chef, what you got? The next technique would be just like if you were to fold an envelope. You want to start by folding it and then folding it over. Okay. Folding it over. Just like if you were to fold a piece of paper, just work your way around till it comes together like that. And do another one. I'll show you one more time. Fold it over. Now, if it comes over, you need a little bit of the open area on top so it'll breathe, so it doesn't run over or pop. Okay. What's, so, uh, what's the, the, the key texture of a puff pastry dough? What's going to happen as we bake this? It's going to poof up just like uh, uh, your favorite croissant or it's going to, all the, all, it's gonna exp the air is going to expand inside the dough. We give for a nice crisp flaky texture. Okay. To that we're going to put it on our pan and go into the oven. Okay. Beautiful. We got a couple in the oven that's ready to come out. Oh, almost forgot, Chef. The, one of the last uh, very important keys is to make it look pretty. So we're going to add a little bit of egg wash. Okay. Egg wash is just a little bit of water, a little bit of egg, whole egg in it. And that's, then That's going to help give it a little color, a little brown and shine to it. And we're going to add some oven proof sugar. Oven proof sugar is an unrefined sugar that will help it just stay nice and crunchy on top. It won't melt in 450 degree ovens. So stay nice and crunchy. Here we're going to the oven. Okay. And come out. Let's take off a little bit with our that's finished fine. product. Okay. And I think we need some ice cream to go with this because that's what I really want. <laughs> I don't know about everybody else, but I'm ready for some ice cream. Here we are, chef. Okay. This is our homemade vanilla bean ice cream we make in-house here at the Vista. All right. Beautiful. Have our, that's careful cute. that's hot. Okay, now do you do anything else on top of it to make it sweet and delicious? <laughs> now there's no calories in any of this, so we're all good on that. <laughs> what here, you got else? From here, gonna, from here we're going to add a scoop of uh, ice cream. Scoop of ice cream on top, hot. I'm telling you, like I said, it's better than Aunt B's apple pie. Isn't that right, Nate? That's right. <laughs> oh, and some caramel sauce. Caramel sauce and a little powdered sugar. Okay, beautiful. <clears throat> And only here at the Vista can you get a nice warm apple crostata handmade by the fellas with some vanilla bean ice cream. We're going to go back over now to Nora. He's going to give you the entertainment and the happenings of Delta Downs. So, Philip, you guys have been here for three years. I see the blue tags everywhere. How's it going? Oh, we've made great progress, Judd. We've got people coming from Westlake to Quincy, Hackberry, uh, Vinton, even coming across the bridge in Lake Charles, Moss Bluff, and Iowa. It's not that far, and we really are having a great time serving them and seeing people respond to us. So, Todd, give me an example of what you got going on here. Well, Judd, we got a $2.99 a month lease on the F-150 crew cab, and as always, complimentary lifetime oil changes. We've got a great group of people here working real hard to serve our customers. So come see us at Tarver Ford, exit 21 in Sulphur. Choosing your doctors and healthcare professionals is an important and personal decision and one that you should feel totally comfortable with. Hello, I'm Dr. Trisha Guidry and I'd like to welcome you to our clinic where your health and well-being is our top priority. I'm a board certified OBGYN and a graduate of LSU. My dedicated staff and I would like to invite you to call for a consultation and appointment. You will experience the trust, 
comfort and medical treatments you deserve. We are Dr. Trisa Guidry. At Bentley's Auto Collision and Storage, newly constructed climate controlled units are now available. These units feature 24 hour keypad access, tape TV monitoring, security lights, electric gate, pest control, and use of free utility trailer. A total of 330 units ranging from 5x10 to 10x30, both climate controlled and conventional are available to meet your storage needs. So stop by Bentley's Auto Collision and Storage at 2115 Country Club Road. Hi everyone, my name is Nora and of course I am the Entertainment and Public Relations Manager here at Delta Downs Racetrack Casino and Hotel. Of course standing next to me is the lovely Lori. Lori is one of our Promotions Coordinators here at Delta Downs Racetrack Casino and Hotel. Welcome Lori. Hey, how are you Nora? I'm doing great. Of course guys, you know at Delta Downs it's all slots, all party, all the time. We have over 1,600 of the hottest slots in roomy Texas size aisles. We have luxurious hotel rooms, fine dining at our Vista and Lookout restaurant where you can see live races from the comfort of your table. We have the Triple Crown Buffet and for a quick bite, the Delta Food Court features five restaurants. We have live horse racing, a state-of-the-art off-track betting parlor, weekly live entertainment in the Gator Lounge, and of course when it comes down to headlining artists, the Delta Event Center is the place to be. We have nothing but the most exciting promotions and more. Come find out why ain't no party like a Delta Downs party. And of course you see me holding a basketball. Basketball is March. And of course in March we think about basketball. One of our main promotions we're doing in March is our hooping and hollering million dollar madness. Over 200 people will each win up to one million dollars. Tell them about it, Lori. That's right, Nora. March is all about March Madness. So it's hooping and hollering. We are giving 40 Be Connected members each Friday night the chance to win up to one million dollars. 40 people. That's three winners every 30 minutes starting at five o'clock all the way till 11.30. We call three names, they come up and they have a chance to win that one million dollars. All you have to do to get on the action is play with your Be Connected card out on the casino floor one hour before the promotion starts, and that's going to activate your entries. Wow. You'll hear Laurie talk about your Be Connected card throughout the evening. So remember, that Be Connected card is your access to your gaming, your access to your promotions, your access to dining, and your access to all the exciting things going on at Delta Downs Racetrack Casino and Hotel. Also in March, we're doing a promotion called the Basketball Blowout. That's every Saturday in March from noon to 11 p.m. where you can win, I hear, instantly up to $10,000 in cash. Absolutely. Our basketball blowout is an instant win game. So all you have to do is bring your Be Connected card, swipe at any red promotions kiosk, and you're going to play an instant win game where you can win $10,000 cash, you can win fast play prizes, you can win any kind of voucher to any one of our dining places, wow. or you could even win a gift shop comp. Everything from gift shop comps all the way up to 10000 in cash. And of course, guys, March also is crawfish season. We have all-you-can-eat boiled crawfish every Thursday in our Triple Crown Buffet for only $25.99. That's every Thursday in March from 4 to 9 p.m. Also, going on on Tuesdays, we're going to cover every day of the week, Laura. We are. There's the 50-plus cash bash. Absolutely. Tuesdays, we cover all of our age years or older, Be Connected members, all you have to do is bring your Be Connected card, swipe at any promotions kiosk, and that's going to enter you into our drawing. Drawing start at 1 o'clock, we'll draw four names for $100 fast play, and then at 4 p.m., one lucky Be Connected member will win $1,000 cash. $1,000 cash. Also, coming up on Wednesdays in March, we have what we call the New Member Wednesdays. Absolutely. We are attracting all sorts of new members in March. And if you sign up in March, the first thing you're going to get your hands on is our Hoopin' and Hollerin' Basketball T-shirt. <laughs> you right. will also instantly receive 100 bonus entries into our Hoopin' and Hollerin' promotions on Friday night. On top of that, you can take your brand new Be Connected card, swipe at any red promotions kiosk, and play our instant win game to instantly win $1,000 cash. And on top of that, we have a drawing at 7 p.m. every Wednesday where one lucky new Be Connected member will win $500 cash. And if they are wearing their Hoopin' and Hollerin' t-shirt, 
We're gonna double it and give him a thousand dollars cash. You're gonna double your winnings just by wearing a t-shirt. How awesome is that? Also guys, in Thursday, on Thursdays also in March, we have our Emerald and Sapphire hot seats. Absolutely, all you have to do is be an Emerald or Sapphire Be Connected card holder, bring your card, play on your favorite slot machine starting at three o'clock. We're gonna draw one name every 15 minutes for $250 cash. Wow, just by me holding this basketball has made me thirsty. Of course, we have our Thirsty Thursdays that's in March beginning at 10 a.m. Talk about the Thirsty Thursdays. Well, the first 500 people who bring their Be Connected card to the Be Connected Club will instantly win a free 12 pack of Pepsi. That's all you gotta do. Wow, let me talk about points because everybody wants to know what about my points. We have the progressive point bonus. That's every Sunday in March from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Want to earn more points for your play? Be here on Sunday to receive one, two, or three bonus points for each point you earn. You can receive up to 135,000 bonus points every Sunday. Also guys, let's talk about entertainment. When it comes down to entertainment, ain't no party like a Delta Downs party and the Delta Event Center is the place to be. It's the perfect venue to see your favorite artists up close and personal. There ain't a bad seat in the house. We kicked off 2013 with Grand Funk Railroad, the American band, sold out. We st then we brought in, in January, we brought Ziggy Marley, jamming to a standing room only crowd, sold out. And on March 23rd, in the Delta Event Center, we'll bring in Grammy Award winners, Buddy Guy, plus Jimmy Vaughn, also Grammy Award winning. Multiple Grammy Award winners, two legends, one night, that's at the Delta Event Center on March 23rd. Show is sure to sell out. Sell out. Also, best entertainment is free entertainment. We have live entertainment featuring local and regional artists every Friday and Saturday night in our Gator Lounge, 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. That's free entertainment, doesn't cost you anything to come in. Let me give you just some of the lineup for March. Louisiana Express, Dog Hill Stumpers, Common Ground, Big Al Carson and the Blues Masters, and BB and Company. I just covered Swamp Pop, Zodico, R&B, Blues, and Country, all in one month. Big variety of entertainment, all free in the Gator Lounge from 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. Everybody knows ain't no party like a Delta Downs party. Everybody know it's comfort any way you play. We have all kind of exciting entertainment going on. The dining, the horse racing, all kind of stuff going on in March. Tell them more information on how to get more information. Well, if you would like more information on any of the exciting things we just talked about, be sure to go to www.deltadowns.com and like us on Facebook so you can keep track of everything that's going on here. Wow, we have nothing but exciting things as you can see going on in March. Delta Downs Racetrack Casino and Hotel. Comfort any way you play. At Action Potential Physical Therapy, each patient receives specific hands-on manual techniques complementing conventional modalities at every visit. Individualized exercise programs are also incorporated for each patient. If your doctor prescribes physical therapy, ask for Action Potential Physical Therapy where Floyd Saltzman has specialized in orthopedic and sports therapy injuries for the last 19 years in the Lake Area. Whatever your action, reach your potential at Action Potential Physical Therapy. fun relax delta downs comfort anywhere you play get out to delta downs in march when 200 people will each win up to one million dollars kloc tv and media provides video services including transfers cd and dvd replication or duplication cd and dvd printing and packaging custom editing and dvd authoring call 474-3300 with your video needs KLOC TV and Media, your one-stop marketing solution. At Astro Foam Products, we have foam rubber and we'll cut it to your size. Cushion size. Mattress size. Any size. 
We have foam mattresses and mattress toppers for a great night's sleep. Memory foam mattresses for your home. So for foam rubber cut to size or foam mattresses, come see us at Astro Foam Products in Lake Charles. Welcome back to the Delta Experience. We've talked food, we've talked promotions, now it's time to talk racing. We're going to take a few moments now to check in with a jockey who's won two riding titles here in Delta Downs. He's had a tremendous career. He's on the edge of winning another jockey title here this season, and also he had a big feat earlier in the meet. What few jockeys do in their careers, in fact, just over 50 jockeys in North America have ever won 4,000 races during their career. Well, Gerard Melanson did it this season at Delta Downs, and we celebrated. Let's talk to Gerard about that big feat in his life. It went the quarter in 23 and 15 one hundredths. Two-pronged battle for the lead. Toledo Town on the inside, prolonged to the outside. Doc, are you it? Sitting in a garden spot third. From there, running side by side is Watch Pat and La Piano Man. They'll need to rally, but slipping through on the inside of those, it's High Hope's Eyed. Back on the far outside, it's part of my family. And then comes May Sing the Blues, who's cranking it up as the field is coming to the top of the lane. The half went in 46-85. They're coming for home, and Doc, are you it on the outside now? doing battle with Pro Long down along the inside and Gerard Melanson can sense it here. It's Doc Are You It driving on and Doc Are You It gives Melanson 4,000 career wins. Congratulations. Chad Cooper here. We're at Delta Downs. We're in the paddock with jockey Gerard Melanson where on January the 30th he became the 65th jockey all-time North American history to win 4,000 wins. I know it's been a long historic uh, career. Just kind of reflect back on it uh, and everything that's happened. Oh, everything. Uh, it, it, there's been a lot of ups and downs, Chad. Uh, uh, the last uh, 20 years, I guess, we've been on an upswing. Um, I, I've been very fortunate not to get hurt really bad, and uh, I've been steady, you know, when it, having good agents and, and riding for the right people, and that's what it takes, and, um, and winning races, you know. So I'm very grateful, you know. i got a good family behind me, a good wife, and two, two great boys, and one which is a, a jockey, too. And uh, it's been a good career, and I, I, with no bad luck, I think I'm good till I'm 55 years old, maybe another 10 years. Now you've won grade ones, grade twos, grade threes. Of course, you won the big million dollar race out here uh, with Saber Cat uh, last year. Um, now you kind of got started in horse racing. Uh, there really wasn't a foundation laid for you. How'd you? What made you become a uh, want to become a jockey? Well, none of my family ever was in the horse business. You know, my dad was in politics. He was the chief of police of our town in rain and stuff, and. Uh, he was a house mover, and uh, I, I was the youngest one in the family, and I was spoiled, so I always wanted a horse. So since I was seven, eight years old, I had my own horse. Never owned a saddle till I became a jockey. But uh, and then when I became about eleven or twelve, uh, I was having trouble competing in all the sports except boxing, <laughs> and uh, and then finally I decided I, I wanted to be a jockey, and uh, seen a little bit of it on TV, and I found a great trainer and a great horseman, Manuel Roman Duson, five miles from where I live, and. Uh, Started get on. I got on my first race horse at 12 years old and doing all the groundwork it takes to become a jockey. Well, we hope everything uh, continues uh, the best of success. We're with Gerard G. Money Melanson is his nickname. January the 30th, he eclipsed the 4,000 mark. We'll keep track of it and on his way to 4,500 and 5,000. Chad Cooper in the paddock at Delta Downs. What a career Gerard Melanson has had. He wins another riding title here at Delta Downs. And during the season on Doc Are You It, as you saw a few moments ago, got win number 4,000. So now he's on to number 5,000. We wish him all the best in the world. We hope that he stays safe throughout the rest of his career. Well, talking about jockeys, how about Kevin Smith? He's jumped into the top five in the standings here at Delta Downs over the last couple of years. He's had another great meet here in Benton, Louisiana this year. We caught up to him the other day to talk about his life and how he got started in racing. Here's Kevin Smith. Kevin, uh, been in the top five in the jockey standings here at Delta Downs the last couple of years. You've ridden here for many years and your career is really beginning to take off. Tell me how it feels to be a prominent rider now here at this racetrack. Well, it feels real good, man. I mean, I love it, you know, and I mean, I couldn't act for more better than what I'm doing, you know, with, a, with age and like I got, I mean, I can't, you, you wouldn't imagine what I feel I need me, you know. Yeah. But I work hard enough for it, and I, I think, you know, I'm ready to go. Yeah. That's great. Well, for people who may not know who you are, you've ridden here for years, I know. You started, what, 10, 12 years ago. Tell us how you got into racing. Your dad was a trainer, right? right. And just, you know, explain uh, how you got started in the riding business. Well, you know, um, 
I always wanted to do this, you know, since the bush tracks. And I rode, a, you know, a few little races over there and just worked hard to get it. And, you know, and I kept on after my daddy, kept on after him, you know, to when uh, he put me on one. And since then, I never stopped. What's it like to be on the back of a horse? I mean, is it something natural, the riding instinct, or is it something you learned from other jockeys that taught you tricks of the trade? Well, that's, you know, a lot of people, I, I, ne I never got an opportunity like a lot of them, you know. I watched a lot of them, you know, I watched a lot of the big ones, Tracy Bear, uh, you know, a lot of the big riders, you know, just kept on watching them and picked up as they go. I never had nobody sit there and show me, yeah. you know, and Tracy Bear had been showing me a lot. You know, so that's helping me a lot. But besides that, you know, I learned a lot of things just on my own. Now, Tracy Abair, he's going for four riding titles here this season and his third in a row. So you kind of look up to him. Has he been a mentor for you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, Tracy, a wonderful rider. You know, he win races for my daddy back in the day before I started. Um, I mean, he just, he just, he just, He's just a good rider, man. Yeah. I love yeah. his performing, you know. Yeah. I know you're from here in Louisiana, but you ride at all four different tracks in the state. How much different is Delta Downs since you've had the success here in recent years, in the top five now, in the top five last year? How's it different to ride on a smaller track like this compared to Louisiana Downs, Fairgrounds, or Evangeline? Well, this is more, you know, a bull ring track. You know, it's just small. You got shorter turns and everything, and I just love the place and my horses run different, you know. At, uh... At the other tracks, you know, it shows you a lot of patience. You know, you got to be patient over here. You don't have to be so much patient. <laughs> but that's the main line is, is just, you know, bigger track, be more patient and yeah. get more run out your horses. Yeah. So what are, what are your goals? I mean, obviously, you're in the top five here. We've got a little time left in the season. Did you have a goal set before this meet? And do you have riding titles in the future for you? I mean, what are your goals in the future? Do you want to go national? Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm always looking to go bigger, you know. But um, whatever, you know, whatever uh, me and my agent could do, I mean, we're going to do it. We're working hard for it. I mean, I'm looking to get up as high as I could go. What about the jockey colony here at Delta Downs? You guys seem to be a pretty knit tight group. Um, you know, when we have a tragedy like a jockey pass away, unfortunately, like Jeff Fall this season, you all get together. Uh, it seems like you're, you're you're like a brotherhood almost. Yeah, you know, I look at all of them like a family to me. You know, if anybody get hurt, you know, we always donating money or helping them out. You know, and if one goes down or something like that, man, it's just you know. Now we have our problems in the room, but it's not. Nothing serious, you know. I mean, we still love each other up in there and everything. But I look at everybody like a family, yeah. you know. And what about staying healthy? Of course, we saw Diego Sainz as a leading rider go down, you know, fracture his yeah. leg. It's a very dangerous sport, isn't it? How much do you think about that when you go out there? Or you just put it all out of your head. I just don't think of it at all, you know. I'm I'm here to ride, and that's what I do, you know. Never think about it. What's the most serious injury you ever had? Uh, I just I uh, broke my collarbone. You know, broke a collarbone, broke some ribs, you know, my wrist. But that's about it. You know, a couple of concussions to the head. Well, I'll tell you, one of the good guys in racing, Kevin Smith, and we hope everybody keeps their eye on him, and good luck the rest of the way, and good luck in the future. Yes, sir. Thank you. Kevin Smith is definitely a jockey you want to keep your eyes on here, Delta Downs, over the weeks and years ahead as his career is really taking off now. He's being noticed by trainers around this region of the country. Could be a big-time rider as so many riders have come from this part of the country, especially here in Louisiana, and made it big like Calvin Burrell, Kent DeSormo, Robbie Alvarado, and others. So we wish him all the best. We'd like to remind you during this off-season here at Delta Downs, the OTB is open seven days a week for simulcasting from coast to coast. We've got two fully stocked bars. We also have a non-smoking section glassed in so you can enjoy the races there with plenty of wagering machines and the teller windows. So come out seven days a week for simulcasting from coast to coast. The quarter horse season, as mentioned, that starts on April the 26th and will race every Wednesday through Saturday night starting at 6.45 p.m. That meet runs until July the 13th. So come out for 46 days of exciting and speedy quarter horse racing right here at Delta Downs. A couple of reminders, go to our website, deltadownsracing.com, for all your racing information about Delta Downs. And you can find us on Facebook at Delta Downs Racing. That's our page. Please go on there and like us. Get all our information that way. And you can also follow us on Twitter, at Delta Racing is the account to follow there. 
Well, on behalf of everybody that makes this show possible here at Delta Downs Racetrack Casino and Hotel, I'm your host, Don Stevens. We'll see you next week on another edition of the Delta Experience. Join us again next week for an all-exciting new edition of the Delta Experience.